Hey, how we going, guys? Mickey, if not cut to back with another kick ass beer review. Tonight, I'm going to review the um, fellow home brewers Imperial Eggnog Stout from Daniel Law, aka Kudos Brewing. Uh, bottled on the 18th of the 6th, 2020, 9.7% ABV. Uh, once again, not sure whether this is one of the ones that's going to give me a bit of uh, excitement or not. Um, but, um, yeah, just thinking back, uh, what did we have? We, uh, the Mango Sour was the first one we tried from from uh, Daniel's Batch, Kudos Brewing. Um, I'm going to say, that was a, uh, a pretty nice sour, uh, Mango Sour. For the Devil's Fruit, uh, it was pretty good. Crack this one open. Uh, it'll be ironic if this had a bit of issue with uh, carbonation or excitement because uh, from memory the uh, the commercial eggnog stout um, had a recall uh, exploding cans uh, this is in a bottle but uh, who, who knows anything could happen here I guess yep It's excited. It's very carbonated. We'll go slow. It's reaching the top. Um, I think we'll just get this one to calm down and we'll come back. <laughs> Ironically, it is uh, a troublesome egg knocks out. Alright, so yeah, she's, she's a pretty cranky bottle. Um, I think I've got it to settle down. But... Starting to calm down now, so we'll guess. Get it pulled up. Pull it up here now once we're nice colour. It's got it's got plenty of head. <laughs> Gotta laugh these ones off. Didn't really lose that much. That is a big glass, only a small bottle. Um, wow. Well, can't say it didn't warn me. We've all had batches like that, haven't we? I think even uh, a lot of the commercial guys get batches like that. Um, yeah. Anyway, colour's good. Aroma. Now I can't exactly remember what the commercial uh, eggnog stout was. Imperial eggnog, eggnog stout was like. But it does, this smells sort of familiar um, in that line of eggnog. So one of the sorts of things around Christmas that no one was really into. Um, and it's very much an American thing. Anyway, cheers. Uh, taste up. Mmm. That's big. 9.7%. It's got all that, it's got that brandy sort of hit about it. It does have a little bit of roast down the back, but eggnog is definitely there. So that's just I can honestly say that the, the flavour 
the appearance the nose is good mm. <clears throat> it's like menthol I think that's sort of coming off the with the sort of the brandy base and the um, the roastiness sort of throwing a bit of that sort of menthol flavor across it's heavier punches it, um, not quite got the mouth feel I think that's a thing that we all struggle with as home brewers with getting that mouth feel right the, um, the commercial brewers the craft brewers seem to nail it somehow uh, with the uh, with the mouth feel I'm still trying to get that mouth mouth feel down pat with my Imperials so um, That's big. It's probably punches out, comes across and just sort of nails the palate bigger than what I, uh, in an ABV bigger than that 9.7. Um, but no doubt it probably is 9.7, just comes across a whole lot heavier than that. Ooh, got quite a sort of a bit of a burn going on, um, but I like it. So no doubt. Um, Definitely uh, one to work towards Daniel, aka Kudas Brewing, um, and maybe try and refine the, um, the issue with the carbonation. Obviously, uh, probably detracts a little bit from from that finished beer. But other than that, well, that's um, that's definitely something that you want a nightcap on. Which is this is my nightcap. And, ready for another big day tomorrow but um, considering I find that the, the mouth feels sort of slightly thin um, everything else is there so uh, yeah once again good job uh, I, I, I do dig it um, it might be, I'm seeing it there in the bottom of the glass is the spices or whatever it is. I'll have to look back over the notes. I know I've sort of kept track on what Daniel was doing with this. Um, cinnamon, spice, some sort of thing going on in it. It's, it's actually sitting in the light. I don't know if you can pick it up. Probably not. There's, there's a lot of sort of very fine granules in there uh, it probably comes from the additives definitely cinnamon I think that's what I'm picking up so it's as it's warming it's the, the flavors are starting to come a bit forth through come through a little bit more now and it's not the menthol I'm getting now it's 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 the spice it's anyway I'll pick your brains now try and recap on what you actually put in it I have followed uh, pretty closely along with what Daniel's been doing um, probably more so now I'll go back over it and check it out cheers